Hey guys, it's Kyle here from Feed Me Techno, back with another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you different ways of side chaining in FL Studio. So, I pull up FL Studio right here, you know, nothing uh, too strange, just do standard stuff. And I get to insert a 3x oscillator right here, that's all I did. And I'm just going to start off and make it a saw wave, just because it'll make it a better sounding wave for this presentation. Alright, so um, I selected 3x OSC and I'm just going to link it to my mixer, control L. And then right here I'm going to add a 3D compressor. And I'm not going to do anything with it right now. Okay, I'm going to worry about that later. So then I'm going to go back and select my kick drum and link that to a different mixer channel. I always put it on channel 1. I think it's just better. So on this one, I'm going to add a 3D peak controller and I'm going to come over here to this little box and I'm going to check it so it goes away. Uh, Fruity Peak controller comes muted because there's a whole bunch of other things that you can do with it but for our purposes for side chaining we want that box not checked and so let's just go ahead and bring up the bass a little bit, turn down the volume a little bit and bring up the tension right there. Alright, now we're going to go back to our compressor right here. Now this is what's going to make the magic you should just use the settings. I, I just start 2 to 1. You know, that's like a good starting point for most people. You know, you could just put the release right, right here. You know, you can change it later. But, you know, those don't really matter too much. So, in here, I right clicked on threshold. And then I clicked... Uh, what did I click? I clicked link to controller. All right, and then I go in here and I find the peak. So, that's, that's what I want to connect it to. That's the peak of the of the sound where it's the loudest. So when the kick drum hits, when it's at its loudest, this threshold will sense it and this compressor will kick in, which will duck out the sound when the kick drum kicks. So we want to link it to peak and we want it to be inverted. And we're just going to click accept. So right now, we have successfully side chained. So if you go and make a quick pattern right there with the kick, we're going to go in the piano roll and just make this a long whole note. And adjust the settings right here with the bass knob and the volume knob. So that's the uh, traditional way of sidechaining in Apple Studio. And I think that really does work best for most applications. But there's other times where you want something sidechain, but you don't want to sidechain to the kick drum. Let's say you want this sidechain, and you just want it doing it by itself. Well, you can't link it to anything. I mean, you could, you could do like this other long, complicated process. But there's an easy way to do it. And I'm going to show it to you right now. So instead of doing all that, I would just use the same 3x OC. I'm going to go to my mixer. I'm just going to turn this compressor off. Pretend it wasn't even there. And now I'm going to open Grow Speed right here. It comes with FL Studio now. And it's free for download for another month or so, I believe. And what you do right here in the bottom left corner is a preset called Sidechain. So you just click that, and now the volume will duck out right here as it follows on this chart. And so it'll give you an effect of sidechaining without doing any of that. So let's listen. <laughs> So that's two ways to sidechain in FL Studio, one cheater way and one better way, you know, the way it should be done. Well, just let me warn you, if you're using a grow speed like I just did for the sidechain, you notice it takes out the volume a lot. So if you're going to use it on synths, I would recommend not using it on a lead synth and doing the other method because you get a lot higher quality sound. This one will just destroy the volume completely. So only use it on like effects or, or at least turn it down a little bit. But I would just use the other type. It's honestly better. I know it's a couple more steps, but you know, it's it's you get what you pay for in a sense. Well, I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. May uh, be sure to check out Feed Me Techno on Facebook, facebook.com slash feed me techno. Or look us up on YouTube, check out our tracks. So uh yeah, thanks guys.